checking on money matters this morning, credit card companies are raising their fees. And oil prices are reacting to the U.S. ban on Russian oil. Joya Das joins us live in the Nasdaq with those stories and more in this morning's Money Matters report. Good morning, Joya. Bruce and Mel, good morning to you. Good morning, everyone. Oil prices have retreated somewhat. We're seeing a little bit uh, of a break there, down 2%, but it's not translating to what we're seeing at the pumps. Prices are still on the climb. Overall, President Biden says that the U.S. will no longer buy Russian oil and natural gas. This also includes coal. The U.S. is making this move without other countries, but European nations may follow, and that is the trickle-down effect that we're seeing at the pumps. McDonald's will temporarily close 850 locations in Russia. Nearly two weeks after Russian forces invaded Ukraine, the fast food giant had taken heat for staying silent on the war. McDonald's has long played a symbolic role in Russia, opening its first Moscow location months before the Soviet Union collapsed. And MasterCard and Visa are getting ready to increase the fees that large merchants pay them, according to a report from the Wall Street Journal. The fee increases are scheduled to take effect next month. The journal says that Visa and MasterCard fee increases are going to trickle down to the consumer, mainly to online purchases. Bank of America says that consumers are, in fact, spending more money, though, on in-person activities. Restaurant and gym spending was up 38 percent and 43 percent, respectively, as more people got out of their homes. It was millennials and Gen Z consumers that drove growth there. Live from the Nasdaq market site, I'm Joy Doss.